In this video, I will show you how I change this double switch with a new Leviton double switch and this will need a new plate as well. Now one of these switches controls the light, this one here and the other switch controls the light outside. So let's see how I do it. The procedure I'm going to show in this video is for education and information purposes only. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, please make sure you follow the local electrical safety code. Working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment can be dangerous if not handled properly. It can cause serious injury as well. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician for the purpose. These are the tools that I will use today. Client tools receptacle tester, client tools touchless voltage tester, a knife, a multi-bit screwdriver, electrical tape, needle nose plier, wire stripper and black and decker electric screwdriver. I would also like to keep some extra wire nuts with me and some sticky notes so I can make note of wire colors and other things if I need to. Using the client tools receptacle tester, I can check that the power is on in this receptacle. It should be on in this one also. I will now go down and turn off power from the circuit breaker. This should become off. This light should also be off. The power from the receptacle is off now, but the light did not turn off. That means the light is on a separate circuit. I will have to turn off that as well. Light is off and the receptacle is also off now. So there should be no power in either this circuit which goes to the receptacles and this circuit which goes to the lights. We are ready to proceed. With this touchless voltage tester, I will again make sure that there is no power. All good to proceed. This Black & Decker screwdriver is actually a very handy tool. It has a built-in light. Need to save these long screws because the electrical box is deep inside this quartz backsplash. This white wire came off by itself. Poor connection. I will just keep it on one side because I don't need to change this receptacle. I only need to change this double switch. This side is the line in power coming from the circuit breaker and this side here has two different outputs one going to this light and the other one going to the light outside i don't know why the guy did not use a pick here This is power in, so I'll wrap small tape around it for identification. It's better to use a pigtail here. I have no idea why two wires are joined here. This is the old switch. Common input, first output and second output. First light and the second light. Let me take care of this neutral wire which goes to the out this outlet. came off from this. Mm -hmm. 
this guy is taken care of now. I'll make a small pigtail here. Four or five inches of wire. Strip it. Take all these together. Now we have one wire going to the switch for first light, for the other light and this is the power coming in. Need to strip it a little more and use this small hole to make a loop. This is our new switch. Comes with the cover plate, but I don't need that. Comes with instructions. Shows how to connect. This is the switch. Power in on this side, the black color screws. They are uh, joined together with this strip here. Only one needs to be connected. Power out from here for the first load and for the second load. Or you can say for first light, for the second light. And of course, there's a ground terminal here. Here we have a big problem. The person who did this job did not ground this and there was no ground connection to this double switch as well. So to take care of this, I have taken two bare copper wires, made a loop here. So I can connect the switch as well as this uh, receptacle to the ground wire which I located right here. First I will take care of this outlet. Trust me, this is very serious and very dangerous as well. So the J-loop, we always keep it clockwise direction in the direction of this group. Because we will be using only one of these two, it is better to tighten one of them. You see Leviton here, so this side is up, this side is down. So I will take care of the grounds first. This big wire nut can take up to four 14-2 wires. Ground from the switch and ground from the receptacle, they are now connected to the ground coming from the circuit breaker. This is our power in. This goes to one of these two black screws. This wire goes to the exterior light. This connection is no good. Half of the bare copper wire is going outside the screw. So I've taken a new piece of wire, made a J loop here. Take about five inches of wire and make a new pigtail. Wow, too many wires for this small box. Now I will push the wires or in an organized way all the way to the back. Just want to make sure that uh, none of these ground wires touches any of these live terminals. 
this screw will not be used i will be using the long screws so i have to remove this black tape to ensure safety two or three wraps are more than sufficient before i push all the wires in the box and tighten the outlet and the switch into the box i would like to test it i will go down and turn on the circuit breaker the circuit breaker is now on so let's uh, test this outlet receptacle working good these two orange lights indicate that the wiring is also correct which means that neutral and hot wires they are connected to the right terminals the lower switch on and you can see the light here off on off on i'll show you the exterior light as well before i finally tighten the switch double switch and the receptacle in the box i will turn off the circuit breaker with circuit breaker off i'll take my voltage tester and see if power is there or not so long screws are being used here because the receptacles are on top of uh, the quartz backsplash align the screws with hand first So I have manually inserted the screws and given it one or two, two threads. Now I will use my Black and Decker electric screwdriver. With the slice on, I will tighten the screws. Check the alignment with this new cover plate. too much on that side so move it this way diagonally first it's time to turn on power again and see everything is working i have turned on the circuit breaker let's see all good wiring is correct wiring is correct first light here off on let me check the exterior light this project is complete now thank you for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel in the coming weeks, I will be uploading more educational videos on electrical wiring, electrical equipment and other DIY projects.